Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Hearts and have more on this Hearty Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts 3. We're back in the world of Frozen and it's time to 100% it. Uh, I really like this world. I I really enjoyed it. I, I, I This world did nothing but surprise me and I think that's also because I kind of... Oh, there's a gale thing here. Can we fall? Like, Oh wow, that's pretty cool. He just could fall right off the mountain. This time of our own volition. <laughs> Oh god, where are we exactly? Anyway. Oh, grapes! Okay, and there's the uh, the flan for this level too. Okay, but yeah, I really like this level. There was a lot of that surprised me, and I think that's because um, I was mostly kind of expecting it to be almost like Tangled, where it's almost a one-for-one -one recreation of the movie plot. And they didn't go there. Well, they, yeah, well, sort of, it's like half and half. It's like they did, but all that stuff was happening in the background. It, we really, the focus of this world seemed more about Sora's sure, own kind of journey through it. And um, that worked for me. I don't know. I think that's, like I said, I really like, I really, really appreciated that scene between him and Larex scene and him are basically giving him a motivation beyond just being the good guy that has to defeat the main bad. So I really, really appreciated that scene and that I feel like the all the stuff that happens in this world was leading up to that moment. So I really enjoyed that. And also, just like like I said, gameplay variety wise, this world was pretty okay, so we fell down here. How do I get back up exactly? Because there's not the only thing down here is the flan. But yeah, gameplay was like this one was pretty interesting too. From that that labyrinth um, section, that of uh, that that was pretty cool. That was actually yeah, that was a pretty nice level. Um, and then the sledding, and then the finding all off body all those body parts and all that Disney nonsense. Oh wait, is that the way for? Is that the way out? I feel like I've fallen down here and I can't get back up. I made a mistake. Made a flaw in judgment. Oh yeah, I also didn't expect like those freaking song numbers from the film to just appear. Those were like a welcome, uh, a welcome surprise. I, I like, I, I appreciate their inclusion though. It kind of, <laughs> but I think now that I think about it, though, it's not only just. I think the reason why a little bit of the this world played out the way it did is because not only did they have to they wanted to recreate that song and put it in the game they also it was the original cast like reprising their roles um all those voice actors and i, I bet that cost a pretty penny so i think that's also why we couldn't have like um like uh anna and elsa be like party members because like to get them to do like battle lines and all that stuff would have cost a lot of money so which is cool because we got the coolest surprise of the awesome surprise of having this guy Marshmallow as our party member, which was I really liked that. I mean, I, I thought I would have been disappointed by Elsa not being the party, but they, no, actually, this works just as well in my opinion. Seriously, how do we get back up? I I don't I don't know. Give me all right. Give me a sec to figure this out. It's like, do we have to interact with the flan in order to do it, or this is weird. Okay, yeah, I guess the only option left to me is to interrupt with the flan. There's nothing, yeah, there's nothing else to do. There's no, there's no other way to get back up. Oh yeah, and speaking about things that were just incredible about this world, that last, bo the boss fight, uh, defeat the flans as fast as possible, block their magic and return it to the sender, okay. Talk about, yeah, those are, this level had some really cool boss battles actually. I'm not doing this well. Okay. Oh, I need to test out the new Keyblade. Yeah. I thought. Oh, yeah, I thought the, this level was gonna. Um, the flawed mini game was gonna be about. Um, what well, was gonna be about sledding, since that was such a huge section. But no, nope, this is good old beat up the heartless. <laughs> but yeah, the the bosses in this in this uh in this world were really incredible too. Like that last one. I I, I gotta look up the um the journal entry for it, but that was a really cool set piece. That was. That was the sickest shit. <laughs> and it's so funny that like that boss comes out of Hans, who in this world had no lines. You don't even like really get to clearly see his face, but <laughs> but he produces something so awesome. <laughs> I am doing horrible at this. Excellent, okay. Oh, am I okay, oh, okay, I think to get more points I'm supposed to. 
Yeah, I think I'm supposed to. No. Yeah, oh, okay, got it. I, I see how this is supposed to work now. Got it. Okay. I don't see how that would take me back up to where I was supposed to be, though. Yeah, that was horrible. No, that was good at all. That one's gonna take a while to, like, get prop, do properly and get the, um, the max effect. Okay. How the hell do I get back up the, <laughs> the mountain? Okay, anyway, let's take a quick look at the new Keyblade 2. Uh, Crystal... Is that what it's called? Crystal Snow? Uh, what should I replace it with? It's high in magic. Uh, let's replace Counter Shield for a bit. Freeze Protection. Okay, cool. Alright, so... Abilities. Oh, wow, it gives us a lot of air slide. Wow, that's good. Oh, it gives us glide, too! Hold circle while midair to glide at high speed. Ah, sick as shit. Okay, super slide. Oh, wow, it gives us a lot of movement. Super slide, combo monster, HP walker. Recover HP as you walk or run. MP walker, okay. Yeah, MP is Stara, 20% faster. Then Diamond dust. Launches a series of spinning ice blades towards the targets. Uh, slasher targets repeatedly with blades of ice. The combo finishers. Uh, deal damage to enemies you touch while performing a super slide. Flow motion attack. Deals damage to enemies while performing. Yeah, okay, so this is all about movement. This keyblade is like all about movement and damaging while doing that. Press square to slide backwards and evade attacks, dealing damage to enemies as you go. That's alright. I. Razor blades. Oh, yeah, this is the next form. Form 2. A combo finisher, combo finisher, airborne, offensive dodge, deal damage to enemies while performing evasive maneuvers. maneuvers. Alright, cool. Yeah, I gotta test that one out. Oh, sounds sick as shit. I just gotta figure out how to get back up the mountain. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like just holding, um, it doesn't grant me glide while just holding the key blade. Because I'm holding circle, right? That's what it said. Hold circle. Yeah, I guess I have to be, yeah, I have to be in one of the, the forms in order to do it. Seriously, how the fuck do I get back up? Wait a minute, I think I found, oh, I'm just supposed to, oh my god, that was, that was driving me nuts. I was like, how the hell am I supposed to get back up? No, you just gotta fall even further. Okay, where are we now? Okay, oh, where are we, where, where we were when, um, Larexine blew us off the mountain. Okay, cool. Oh my god, alright. So, uh, yeah, so time to go ahead and look for a chest. I think uh, I know ch for chest and lucky envelopes. I only have like nine, nine or eight chests to go, like as usual. It's weird. It's like I always end up with that number. And I also have uh, three lucky emblems, which I'm guessing, I'm betting one of them is in um, the kingdom of uh, Arendelle itself. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and just check there because we didn't actually get to explore. We just had, we just did the really cool boss battle. So, but I'm expecting if I had to put a good guess, it's either on its way to Arendelle or in that town. So I'm gonna go check there first. Think the snow's deep enough? You got it easy. Yeah, I think it's kind of fun. <laughs> So at least we don't have to deal with those blistering winds anymore. Yeah, it seems like we're just free to walk. Oh, it might actually be even hidden here now that I get a chance to look around. And maybe we'll get some Heartless and I can actually test out this new Keyblade. Seriously, what is with this? Like, yeah, talk about variety and gameplay. I don't know what's up. Like, I don't know. It's definitely one of those. It feels like one of those things. Like when a game introduces a mechanic, but it's not. It's not at all fleshed out. But it's like a thing that they might try again later in later games. So, I I, I don't know where There's Square is. Arndale Castle. Whoa, we're really high up. Wait. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. It's yeah. all the way down there. Okay, so. Yeah, I expect a hidden Mickey to be here somewhere. But oh, so we don't even get to go to Arendelle. This is just this is the end. This is the end of the level. So maybe. Let's see. Oh, that's mm, that's a little. Uh, sh that's a bit of a shame that it's still frozen. It should be it should be all melted and stuff. It should look like how it does at the end of the film. I guess that would cost a bit of resources to do that that way. Really? No hidden Mickey here? I th thought for sure. Hmm. Alright, I'll keep on looking around. Oh, hey! Found the treasure chest! Slayer's earring, okay. 
How far down? Oh, okay. Oh, it doesn't let us pause. Okay, cool. There we go. How far down the uh, list of treasures is that one? Super... What was it called? Super Slayer? Slayer's Earring. Okay, so I have one, two, 17 out of 25. Yeah, okay, so I have eight left. Okay, yeah. You always... It's weird. Yeah, you always do end up with just nine left somehow. Okay. Elsa's voice is amazing as her magic. I feel like her song helped me understand her a little better. Elsa, ice, hashtag Elsa, hashtag Ice Palace, hashtag Queen. I, I, I mean, it's so funny to think that he like they just they were able to hear that. It's not just like it, it's that it's that thing about musicals, right? When they're actually singing to progress the plot, or it's like, oh, but but when they're also singing and people notice, like that's just just a normal part of the world that people just burst into song. So I guess in this universe you it's just. A, but then again, we might be able to reach that maze we were trapped in. But then again, for oh, hold on, let me let them finish. Okay, yeah. But then again, for these guys in particular who visit worlds and they just they just um adjust to the strange rules of different worlds. I guess it makes sense because like they did go to Ariel's world, which was all which was nothing but singing for like Kingdom Hearts too. So I guess it's not that weird. This is like yeah, we've encountered this before. Some worlds are just like that. Okay, so now that I have double jump, I should be able. Oh, crap, mess it up. I should be able to get up here. There we go. Yeah, I knew there was a chest up here. And there's a railing blizz blizzard cuff. Okay, so all I need now is I have arrow, I have fire, I have blizzard, I have water. I just need thunder. A thunder, and yeah, that's the only other one, right? Okay, but we can't get... So there is a way to get to this one, because we can't jump onto the railing from here. So I think I shortcutted it, actually. Cause yeah, it's like we were supposed to ride the railing, end up here, and then fall here. Mm. I had to look it up because it was driving me crazy, but uh, yeah, there's a breakable part of the railing like right here, and then you just jump onto it. I thought it led to like a whole different section of the labyrinth, but no, it just takes you to this chest that I I got just using uh, the a combination of the double jump and the uh, the super jump. So yeah, you just grab that and that's it. But okay, moving on. I think I got yeah. I think everything in the labyrinth that I could find and found like all the lucky albums in the chest. So I just gotta start looking outwards. Okay, I get to test out the Keyblade here. Let's see if we can get to its form change. I have to upgrade. I have to upgrade this one too. It has. Okay, Blizzard Claws. Uh, okay. Cool transfer. Oh, wow. It's like I'm Wolverine, but with ice. Okay. So, can I glide? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's good. That's that good shit right there. Oh, that's, a, that's great. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can get to the second level. Yeah, but, but it looks like this um this one in particular is yeah since the focus is on movement and doing damage while moving, so blizzard blades. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah, it's just it's just like it's like um it's Aqua like we're fighting like Aqua did in that one cutscene, but now we we're doing it with ice. Oh, that looks sick as shit. I really like that. And we can still glide in this form too. Hold on. Yeah, that's dope. Oh my god, it's pretty good. Ah, oh, look how high we can go. What's the finisher look like? Oh, like how she does this. Come on. I am pretty okay with that. That's pretty sick. Okay. Yeah, okay. I gotta test that out with some actual more heartless, but I'm a fan of this keyblade so far. Yeah, but yeah, because since like I was saying, because it seems like it's a uh, its specialty, it's like um, it's like doing damage while moving, that kind of thing. Uh, it doesn't have any special ability like how like favorite deputy you press circle to like do uh, get straight to your finisher, or with the uh, the staff you like do multiple copies so you can do the blast damage. So yeah, that's good, but it's pretty cool. Man, these so far, yeah, these, the way they treated the Keyblades in this game has probably been the best thing about it. It really adds a lot of variety to this game. I really like it. Yeah, that dodge does damage. 
Oh, that's sick. It's like in Final Form when you're gliding um, and how your Keyblades just spin in front of you. It even generates the form, too. That's sick as shit. Oh, I really like that. Okay, let's save that for a later encounter. Okay. Oh, hey, there's a chest over here. Sick. All right, so that's one more. What is? Where is that on the um, treasure list, actually? Uh... Okay, so I'm now. Uh, it was elixir, right? Where was that? Or Calcom, Refocuser, Blizzard, Slayer's Earring. Oh wow, it's okay. So I almost have this row completed. So I'm guessing this row might be treasure chest within that area where we were climbing up the mountain the second time. So okay, I'll look. I'll look around there. At least it gives me like an idea of where to start looking. Oh man, it's pretty devastating too, and it. Oh, I really like. Yeah, these keyblades are cool. This keyblade is pretty. All the keyblades have been freaking cool. I don't even. I, it's gonna take me uh, a lot of trying. I wonder um, to see which ones are my favorites, like my top three or stuff like that. Oh, thank you for the assist there, Donald. Where? Ah, perfect. Thank you so much, Wisdom Ring. Okay. Cool. Where? Okay, so where was that one on the list? Okay, so, alright, so, the one is before this, so, hmm, cause this is, this, this Lucky Mickey is right before, um, this Lucky Emblem, or Hidden Mickey, is right before Arendelle, so I would expect it to be slightly after, but it might be, like, the, the Toy Story situation, where it's, like, right at the beginning of an area, somehow, so, I, 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 I gotta keep an eye, just keep that in mind, okay, so, I'm expecting, yeah, somewhere along the path upwards towards uh, the mountain on the second time coming up. Oh, hey! Oh, Magician's Wand Plus. And it looks like it's a, a ice one, like how this one. Blizzard Boost. Okay, cool. Yeah, sure. I really do need to get more, like, yeah, that's. I feel so neglected. I've been really neglecting Donald and Goofy with their equipment there. Just kind of slapped on those, uh,. Those, the, that shield and that one has been on them since Hercules' world, Olympus. Look how high we can get, holy nutballs. That is just crazy. Yeah, like, that's one other thing that was awesome about this level and its design. It's just the, like, the height you can get to, because it's like you're climbing a mountain. It's just like, you really feel it. It, it looks incredible. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, so the, I thought the animation for that, the wrist dodge, would be the same for all the Heartless, but no, it's different. It was a totally different animation than when I blocked against the Satyrs. It just, it's almost works as if they're uh, reaction commands, but without pressing the triangle. Oh, I can't block in this mode. I can only do the uh, back, uh, this backwards jump, this avoiding. But it's okay because the the dodging the dodging attack does so much damage. It even I think interrupts enemy moves. That's really cool. Okay, the other thing I noticed that makes this um this keyblade pretty awesome, even though it doesn't really have a special mechanic per se, is that it like it's almost as if we're harnessing a, just a tiny bit of Elsa's magic to control ice like the way she does, and that's that's pretty cool. That that's I really like that actually. Like when Sora does that finisher where he does the stamp, creates a, like the little ice chandelier and then cuts it to smash a heartless. It's like, yeah, okay, we're just harnessing our power there. It's like we're or we were inspired by her to make that technique. It's, it's kinda cool. And also, it just gives us glide, which is also just a sick as shit just thing to have. It's like, oh my god, it's so awesome. It's like we're barely even dipping at all too. Oh, and it still has that ability as long as like I think it's even improved, like, because I was going, like, upwards, like, because, like, before with glides, as long as you're on level ground, it doesn't, uh, stop you, it doesn't take you out of glide, but it looks like even there, like, you can go up and around and still be in the glide motion, that's pretty sick. I, I enjoy that a lot. Okay, so now I'm down to four, I think? How many? Let me see. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, four. Okay, yeah, we're making a good progress there. Okay, 
Just gotta finish up this line and then whatever one that is. Oh, hey! There was just one right here. Okay. I didn't even notice you at all. I was like totally just fighting Heartless and just happened to appear. Oh, I think I saw a chest there. Hold on. Oh, that's... That was sick as shit. So, oh, no, wait, no, don't ruin it. No, no, no. Uh, ah, damn. Okay, so I was able... I was almost able to pull it off. So, I'm like, I fought a Heartless over there. And then just when I thought I was about to fall off, like, yeah, I thought I was able to glide and save it, but... Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, the glide there seems to be hurting me more than assisting me. So, hold on, let me just do this. Come on, there we go. Okay. Get up, get out of my way, big guy. Okay, come on. I totally see a chest there. There we go. Alright. Whew. Took some effort. <laughs> Where am I? Where is that one on the um on the list? Okay, so just this probably just one more chest in this area, and then I gotta figure out where the hell that one is. Okay. Found the last chest in this area. Oh, uh, this section of the world, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Alright, so I just gotta figure out where the hell this one is. Um, hopefully I'm lucky and it's in the same place that the last lucky emblem is. Or, well, then again, I still only have two. But wherever that, I feel like the lucky emblem is somewhere in this area too. So I just gotta keep looking around. You were really tucked away, weren't you? I had a feeling it had to be along this mountain path. Because, like, yeah, the, 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 the area is in between, um... The area is in between this last one and up to here, to the the one right by the castle. There's, it just had to be here. But yeah, here we go. Got it. Cool. Okay. Alright. Now that just leaves the last one. And I, I, I guess I'm just gonna have to like scour the entire world. I think I, I should probably start from where I first where I first landed in this world and then move forward and hopefully I'll encounter the treasure chest on the way too so I'll try that oh I know I wouldn't why I didn't see you now this one's yeah I was like you'd be walking this way the only way you would have really noticed that one is if you were walking the opposite way okay so that's all the treasure chest all right that it's gotta be around here either the starting area or it links towards maybe the ending area so i'll try that because that path right there on the left of the map that leads into the ending area of this uh world so i'm gonna try that path and see maybe i'll come across the last lucky album and be done oh i still gotta do the flan thing but then yeah after that i'll be finished okay i've thrown in the towel i've i've run through this world like at least seven times and i i really i really tried to find this on my own and not like given but i still gotta go to a whole other world and do some other stuff to get this video so i looked it up and apparently the lucky albums on one of the rocks he used to hide from the snowstorm i looked through this area like three times all the time because i was just so certain it was here so let me just take a closer look and see if i can find it so that's great i looked through this area like super specifically because i had a f i thought i figured it would be in this place because this is like um going by the rows and stuff like that thinking that way it would be here but i don't know how i would have missed it not that no not that one i thought i almost saw something no, not this one either. Seriously. I wonder if that guide is wrong. No, it's not here either. Nope. No, that's all of them, aren't they? It's behind one of the rocks you use to hide from the snowstorm. Am I blind? Is it like really... Okay, let me try it with the camera mode on and maybe I'll pick it up. Oh, I looked at this area very thoroughly. No, it's Let's no, see. it's not letting me. Let's see. Um Let's see. This is driving me insane. I really wish I didn't have to Oh my god, wow. <sighs> I was looking at the wrong angle. 
Oh my goodness. It was like right and I and I opened the wow, it is perf it's purposely set up too that you open up this chest and it's like right below you. But when I opened the chest I was like over here. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, that's the last lucky emblem, and yeah, I actually, I um, I did the great flan uh, just as, oh, just on a whim to see how like just going for it, like how see uh, to see how far I would get, and yeah, I got it on the the second try, so I was just like, I didn't even bother filming it. I was just like, I don't think I'm gonna get it here. I just want to test run it, and yeah, I got it. You get unison um, uh, ice, which is like unison fire, how it works with Donald. So instead of like if you uh, do a combo finisher near Donald, you do a unison uh, ice move that freezes enemies. But yeah, okay, so that was, um, that was the Kingdom of Arendelle. We will make our way over to the, uh, Monsters Inc. world now. So yeah, see you there. Although I did say I would go to Monsters Inc. world next, um, Monstropolis, I, I just forgot, I, 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 like, well, I, I just remembered that there was that cutscene at the end of completing, um, the kingdom of the frozen world that Merlin needs to see us and it's about a book and most likely when you have Merlin and book in the same sentence that has probably has to do with uh, uh, Winnie the Pooh so yeah I'll just go here first and see what's going on I wonder like I've always my response to the uh, Winnie the Pooh worlds I'm pretty sure that's what it is at least I remember my response to them in Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 were mostly lukewarm I think it's also because like as a kid I didn't really that much grow up with oh, I need to put my phone on silent I didn't pretty much I didn't really grow up with um, Winnie the Pooh all that much it wasn't like a close part of um, my, ch my childhood for me so I don't know I always have been I especially in the case of Kingdom Hearts 2 um, I did it mostly just to like say like oh yeah I did everything in this game sort of mentality. In Kingdom Hearts One, I know I did it because it was like it was like the first time playing that game. It was like it was such a new experience. I was just like okay, let's see. Oh, but before I get into that, um, something I discovered when I was looking in the workshop, um, AP boost. Yeah, something uh collectors get goals. Apparently, you could just get the ultimate Keyblade um, recipe from just getting every synthesis item. I think, yeah, here's our Calcum, Hungry Crystal. Uh, I saw it somewhere. There it is. Yeah, so after after obtaining 58 different types of synthesis materials, you just unlock the ultimate weapon. I thought you would like find the chest or something like that. So, okay, cool. And I'm not too far away. Right now, I'm at 45, so... I, I yeah I gotta keep an eye out and then you could also make Ori Calcum. I got another Ori Calcum too because I gave in a couple of postcards and one of them the one of the rewards was for Ori Calcum. So yeah, I got another one. Yeah, I got a, a, a thousand total synthesis materials. Yep. So I think it should be pretty easily to get pretty easily <laughs> easy to get the um the stuff the 58 uh, 50, uh, 58 different types of materials especially when you're staying in the world so like 100% them I already I already even got like all the because of the frozen world I got like all the blizzard materials um what's this there was something I saw every type of mithril material I got every time of wellspring um shoot there was something that said I got every type of frost or something like that. Not important. But anyway, um, while I'm here, let me just upgrade my keyblades because I got, I was, uh, I did spend a couple of time, a, not a couple of time, but a bunch of time grinding in the space ocean, and I farmed a, a bit of Damascus and everything. Yeah, as as you can see, 29. I got, I went a little cra crazy. <laughs> Frost stone. Uh, yes, power up. Power up. Power up. And now I need, uh, I need, uh, adamantine, which I picked up a couple. Okay, so that's 7 and 10. Uh, what, what other ones do I want to upgrade? Yeah, probably, probably just the normal keyblade, too, because I'm probably going to take this, like, once I get to the final level of this game, I'm going to slap on the keyblade. I'll have, uh, I'll probably set up, like, it's the kingdom key, and whatever two keyblades throughout the game became, like, my absolute favorite. Alright, so yeah, let's... Okay, that needs adamant tights. Okay, uh, what else? I like the frozen keyblade. I really like the style of the frozen keyblade. It really looks cool. Uh, favorite deputy. You know what? I'll just yeah, I'll just do it anyway. It doesn't matter. I have enough, so it's not a big deal. 
It's funny too because I was just here. I wasn't even. I was over here um, trying to get the pic to get the picture of the tram, and I didn't even was a recording, so I could have triggered ah, this cutscene and not even realized. What brings you all the way out here? Besides the finest tea this side of Big Ben, of course. <laughs> huh? But Merlin, I thought that you asked us to stop by. And also, Merlin, really, can you give Carrie a freaking phone? Mm-hmm. Didn't you leave a mess? Like, come on, like, how much of a missed opportunity is that? We can have scenes of Sora and Kairi talking to each other or texting each other in this game. That would have been so fucking adorable. Like, why don't we have that? Forest with Chip and Dale? So disappointing. It it's such a miss. Back? Yeah, it's a huge missed opportunity. Uh, it would yes, have been really fun book. to mess around That's with. That's right. Like, just have no. chill, Chip and Dale make one, have them mail it to you, ship hey, it to you, and just is... give it to Kyrie. Oh, yeah, that's right, because the Andrew Did King works too. Happen? Did he forget again? Well, that's what you need to find out, lad. Mm. Yeah, oh, uh, yeah, the Pooh, the Winnie the Pooh worlds are, are cute and adorable. It's just that. Okay, I don't know. I'll see you in a bit. Take care. It never is. Yes, it never super great me. But like I said, I didn't really like. I didn't really grow up with Winnie the Pooh. I did watch a couple episodes of like the show when it was airing. But yeah, it was just. It was mostly because like that's what's on at the time. To be fair, I did watch the Tigger movie where he has to like where he goes to like find other Tiggers, but um. I think I, I remember. Yeah, I remember like liking the film, but then that was a long, 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 long time ago. So that's try. The hundred acre woods. Oh wow, that honey looks really good, actually. <laughs> a little plasticky, think, but. Think, 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 think. Mm. Pooh Bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, these guys look great in this engine too. I like ah, uh, I like. Okay? The, I don't know what that is. Is that shading Hello, or Sora? like the outline on them? It, like they, yeah, they look like they're on a page. Home. It's really nice. It's nice. Uh huh. Good to see you, Pooh. And you too, Piglet. Mm. Okay, so you haven't forgotten me, <laughs> so we're not, not doing trouble? Kingdom Hearts two. But I thought something odd must be going on. Mm. Oh, let me see. I don't remember anything oddish, but perhaps I've forgotten. Sink, sink, sink. <laughs> oh, sink, we've sink, got trouble, sink. all right. I wonder if that Christopher Robbins um, film that came out not so long ago that be was the any rabbit good. Sort of trouble. I heard it was Sorry, like at least no, a little charming. <laughs> Sarah! Huh? This is a... Oh, I thought. Oh, you're. I... Wow, who's this? Yeah, I'm not familiar with this. Huh. It's okay. He's my friend. Is this a Kingdom Hearts thing, or is this like, Hi, did, like, I'm was Sora. there a show running of? And I'm Lumpy. It's nice to meet you. Okay, yeah, no, this kind of feels like <laughs> oh. this was part of a show that they included, like recently. Maybe there was a show. Stop around, Sassafras. Stop around a little louder, why don't you? Oh, go for. I'm sorry. Hmm. <laughs> I kind of like it when the ground gets bouncy. Well, I suppose if something has to bounce. Eh? <laughs> Speaking of. Up oh, and Tigger. Hmm? Whoa! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Back for some more boats in Sora. <laughs> Tigger! Come so far, I'm really, I really, I don't know, I believe, mm, now, I'm, 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 now I'm getting myself excited, because the mini games in this game so far have been pleasant, I like, I've enjoyed them, I like the Arendelle one, the sledding one's not bad, um, so, not Arendelle, um, the Tangle World, the dancing mini game. I like, I like that, so I, I'm interested, because, um, the Winnie the Pooh worlds are usually nothing but, um, mini games, so I'm interested to see what they make me do. Well, thank you for remembering my plight, Pooh. 
better late than never. He said probably that the voice actors from when I watched Winnie the Pooh as a child, but like maybe it's from the here? new. Maybe, I think there's a show running of Winnie the Pooh currently right now on some Disney Channel As I Cartoon recall, or something. we came to help you with your garden. Oh well, rabbit. Disney Channel. Please. After which, but wait a minute, was Winnie the Pooh always a Disney property? I can't even remember. I guess I would have watched it on the Disney Channel, but were they? It, it's one of those things. It feels like its own separate stuff. Oh, but I'll look that up later. You'll invite Maybe. us in for a smackerel or two of honey? Correct. No, no. I mean, we'll, we'll see about that, Pooh. Now, the garden, if you please. You can help too, Sora. What? Me too? I feel like all. I feel like, uh. I have this thought growing in the back of my mind that like all the mini games, like the Verum Rex and the dancing mini game from um, the Tangled World, they're gonna give you Orichalcums, but you have to like get the highest score. As I have a strong feeling that's gonna be the case. Rabbit needs help picking vegetables. Go examine the correct sign to start the game. Okay. Lumpy. Oh, actually, yeah, I can just look at my gummy phone and it'll tell me what the deal with Lumpy is. Uh, where would it be in story? Right? Story? No, no, no. Uh, glossary. No. Uh, character files. What the fuck am I doing? All right. Uh, it's okay. Hundred Acre Woods. Lumpy. Two thousand and five. Pooh Huffalump movie. A young Huffalump who lives near the edge of the Hundred Acre Woods. After you met Rue and the two became good friends. Lumpy comes by to visit and play all the time. Okay, cool. Wow. Two thousand and five. Okay, so not from a current showing. It was yeah. Okay. Oh, adversaries. I want to check out that entry on that Heartless. Grape Flan. Grim? No, that's not it. Skull. Oh! Oh, that's like, um... I, 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 I at least come across this name in, like, um... In, like, games, like, in the, the setting the God of War that came out. The, um... The... Oh, God, what's that pantheon called? The, um... You know what I'm talking about, but that Pantheon, I've experienced that Pantheon through like the God of War series and like a little bit of Smite and Skull is like one of the um, one of the names, the born names. A lupine heartless that rose from the darkness consuming Han's heart. <laughs> something so awesome coming from something so assuming. Uh, wolves hunt in packs and this monstrosity was no exception. It summoned a horde of phantom pack mates and transformed them to darkness so vast it blotted out the entire sky. That was a really cool sequence. I really like, that was, that was definitely my favorite boss so far. That was a really cool one. Okay. Tigger's like gardening, not as much as Bouncer know. Mm, tiggers are what bouncing is what Tiggers do yeah. best. Oh, I can still I saw my jump. Ah, strike. Okay, then <laughs> change it from hit. Oh, uh, yeah. Sarah's model looks really good in this world. Oh wow, that looks incredible. The game is beautiful. Uh, okay. Come on, we'll collect lots and lots of vegetables. Mm, yeah. No lollygagging. I got a tight skit. Oh wait, it said it said in that journal in the character it says that I got everyone in Hundred Acre Woods. So I guess no Mama Ru or whatever what her name was, and no uh no Eeyore. I think Eeyore was always my favorite the from the Winnie the Pooh. Bountiful harvest is proper proportions and perfect timing. Okay. Oh okay. So I thought I had to talk to Rabbit. So maybe. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. I think the mini game in two is that you had to pull up, like you have the time it right to pull up the right vegetable or something like that. So, okay, can uh, connect five vegetables uh, of the same color to harvest them and clear the garden by shooting the vegetables in your hand towards the pile. You can replace those vegetables and clear them out faster. I feel like I'm saying that word weirdly. Vegetables. <laughs> Uh, tilt L to adjust trajectory, then hold X to begin previewing the shot. The number of vegetables you shoot is determined by when you release X. To complete the challenge, collect the number of vegetables Rabbit is active for. I feel like I'm going to do horrible at this. I feel like I'm not going to do that. This is not this is not one of those mini games I'm going to be good at. <laughs> After the fifth successful harvest, Rabbit will hop in and harvest all of the all of one color vegetable. Keep an eye on the vegetable displayed in the bucket and focus on other vegetables instead. 
Keep an eye on the vegetable displayed in the bucket and focus on other vegetables instead. Okay. You can change the vegetable in your hand by pressing L1 or R1. Uh, as you harvest, a special game will uh, fill up, press triangle, um, get help from Tigger. Ask for help twice in one turn for an even bigger bonus. Okay. Let's, Let's give this a try. I don't think I'll be good at this. Okay, so... Okay, I guess I kind of get it. Alright. Am I doing well? I honestly don't know. Um, hmm. Oh, maybe I have to hold X? Oh, okay, I see. Oh, okay, yeah, I see how it works. Okay. Is there a time limit on this? Not really. Okay. Um, hmm, where should I hit? Nice. Ah, damn, too, too far. Okay. I hope oh, it does after. all of those, okay. Alright, hey, I'm not gonna be good on this initially, but I'll, I'll be testing it out. Uh, let's try... There we go. That's too much, but, okay. I think I'll gather these. Alright. Okay, I can kind of understand it now. Like, the, the fruit that you're about to launch, uh, like, seems to, um, stand out a bit more. So it's like, okay, I can see the grouping. This enough? Oh, uh, no. Okay, good enough. Thanks, Rabbit. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, sets off a bit of a chain reaction there. Thank you. Alright, cool. <laughs> that actually worked out uh, decently. Alright. Yeah, I'm just, this is all beginner's luck, though. Absolutely. This I don't know why I'm like trying to aim up shots like I know what I'm doing because I really don't honestly. I'm just like shooting crap and it, it seems to be working out, so. Cool. Uh, okay. I wonder what, what arbitrary high score they want me to reach there. Carrot, eggplant, garlic, pumpkin, tomato. Zucchini! What a harvest! And thanks to Sora's help. Mm. Hopefully I won't need to like... Yes, I... quite right. Thank you, Sora. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if they ever need me to play that mini game to get to arbitrary high oh, score in order no, to no, get no. something There's important, no that's gonna be a work. little bit rough because I have no, no idea how I would like maximize huh? points in that mini game. I I probably have to play it a couple times. Uh, Whipper, oh god! Ah, oh, god. <laughs> Excuse me, rabbit. The carrots are very nice, but uh, might you have some honey to go with them? I don't know, man. I, I, think, time, I think carrots will mix well with honey. If I give you any honey here, I'll just there, end though, up with a work. bear stuck in my front door again. <laughs> well, looks like your problem's solved. Guess I'll be on my way. That was a short world. Solved? Oh, it's far from solved. We still need to harvest the fruit. <sighs> Won't you stay, Sora, for the sake of honey? Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, Rabbit has asked for the help of the orchard. In the oh, in the orchard. Go examine the correct sign to start the game. Okay. Oh, so is this the whole world? You just, yeah, you just, you're just on Rabbit's, um, like, plot of land here. And you just do different mini games according to his, uh, his whatever story he's doing. Let me see. Can I leave? Are there any... Wait, are there any chests in this world? Is this a thing? Oh, okay, no, it's not. Oh, cool, so I don't have to worry about that, at least. I don't have to worry about... Um, oh, but it does have lucky albums. Okay. Hmm, okay. That's... Okay, I'll have to keep my eye out for that. Can I go different places? Okay, that just makes you leave. Oh, uh, I wonder if there's one here. Hmm... I'll, no, okay, no, I'll, I, I'll, I'll suppress my urge to search for them now. I'll look for them after I'm done with everything. The fruit is over in the orchard. Okay. Uh, oh yes, this is the orchard. All right, cool. Let's do it. Oh God. 
Gather the rolling fruit of oh, Jesus. This is almost, this looks exactly the same as the last one. Harvest the fruit from the orchard before it rolls into the river. Get help from Rabbit and Lumpy to clear the fruit out faster. If it reaches the river, you will fail the challenge. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, adjust trajectory. X to hold to, hold to preview shot quantity. Uh, triangle to get help from Lumpy. L1, R1 to change fruit. Oh, yeah, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that mechanic. Let's get gardening. There we go. Uh, that was not helpful. Yeah, that, I totally failed at that one. Okay, but I, I think I sort of see how it's supposed to work. So okay, yeah, let's play this again. Here we go. Day's work. Okay, a little more aware of what I was doing there, but not by much. But hey, we beat the thing, so moving on to the next one. Please let it be a little bit different. <laughs> let's let's get let's get some variety up in here. I really hope it doesn't require me to come back to do these to get like a high score somehow, because I wouldn't even know how to like fix how I'm doing things to get to that higher score. Yes, but again, it yes. doesn't seem to have a time Look limit, so you could go as long fruit. as necessary for the oh, most part. It's lovely. Lumpy loves, Remy would have, loves would have a, like a freaking stroke scene, all you that know, fruit. Rabbit, I find that fruit always tastes better with a little honey. I don't You're think right, that works it, with everything. It certainly Pooh. does. Then I'll keep looking for fruit up at Bunsen Heights. Honey covered zucchini. Oh and dear I'll God, no. Big stuff. To the soil. Ah! Sora. Could you help me with my flower patch? Sure thing. I Do I have to shoot them in a trajectory again? A surprise? For Pooh Bear? Yes, Sora? <laughs> oh, it's nothing, Pooh. I'll go examine the quick sign. Alright, cool. Yeah, it really does seem you're just in this one area, so that the, all the Mickey, I mean, if that's the case, all the lucky Mickeys have to be around here somewhere. So I don't think they're making going to make you do the whole, like, find the torn hey, pages thing again. Oh! Uh, where? Alright. Uh, okay, so the flower patch, I think I passed by it, actually. Oh yeah, it's right here. You know, it makes, you know, with looking how this is set up, it's probably going to be the same kind of style of minigame. You know, throw it in there into the mix to get matching sets, and yeah, I feel like it's going to be the same exact thing. Yep, okay. Alright, got it. I, I, I see what I'm in for here. Collect honey pots and free. Yep! So far, just a mostly a lukewarm response, like most of the other times I played Winnie the Pooh. Uh, still adorable as heck, but I mean, yeah, these characters, I never really loved, loved these characters, so... Uh, okay, I uh, clear out the flowers. Okay. Let's get gardening. Is there any point to like switching the the uh, the type of flower though? Anyway. All right, cleared it. There was seemed to be like a sub thing there of getting poo honey that was in the uh the flowers. I I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh. Oh well, a, light, a nice little diversion before we get more into plot-heavy stuff. Here, Pooh, a pot full of honey. It's your reward for being such a big help. Eat all you want. One thing I remember from when I oh, watched Winnie the Pooh is like you, it's one of those Robert. shows that even though I never really looked you at honey, I was like, mm, that looks delicious. It, the way Pooh like eats it really? makes it like feel like Why? makes you almost want to eat it. Like it's, it's just simple. like honey. the way he's eating it. Flowers makes that mean delicious. nectar. I actually, would have nectar some honey. means honeybees, and honeybees uh, mean honey. <laughs> oh, and the flowers are so lovely. I like the pretty colors. You're really British. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Heartless. Look at them all. They're both an even higher than me. Oh. I think that's called floating tiger, but sure. <laughs> Sora, I believe the one I should thank for all that yummy, delicious honey is you. I had something to do Don't with it. Don't mention it, Pooh. Besides, we all helped. 
Um, Sora. Mm -hmm. You used to be right here. Why is it that you went away? Away? Oh, that's what you meant by your home. Yes. Uh. You see, when I get a rumbly in my tumbly, it's very hard to think of anything but honey. So I was worried that I might have forgotten you away. Not the first time Silly you would have happened. I'd never. Oh, good. Because I want us to be together forever. Mm. Pooh. We are together. <laughs> Fucking one of the, 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 uh, the 13 versions of Sayonara comes in. Finally, we found the next pure light. No, don't you fucking dare! <laughs> there isn't a second that we're not. Sorry, it just turns Except around and it's like, nope, not doing this. Our connection's weaker. Why oh. is that? Hmm. What's wrong, Sora? Hmm? Oh, it's nothing. What matters is I'll be here from now on. <laughs> no going away. Thank you, Sora. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> that is something that they've been um, kind of building up, right? That Sora can feel... It's like Sora can feel the bonds he has between his friends, as many friends he's encountered. Like an actual tangible thing. Like he was like, yeah, the connection... He was just saying the connection between him and Pooh felt weaker? Okay, alright. Oh, wow. So yeah, that was a really small diversion. We're back on the book cover again. Okay. Uh, Alright, I appreciate... Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. Alright, we, we got our own little keyblade there. Cool. Honey launcher. I forget, like, knocked my headphones out. But yeah, uh, I appreciate that. It wasn't too uh, interruptive. It was, just, it was just enough. It was short and sweet. Very short, very sweet. And I, I appreciate that. With, like, one mini game. So, alright, cool. Yeah, that was nice. Not bad at all. <laughs> now I have to tr now I have to test out this uh this new this hundred acre wood keyblade to see if it's any good. Smacking around a Zemnis with like a fuck. Oh man, that would be funny. And we're Splendid. back. All is as it should be. But how come Sora's picture disappeared in the first place? Something's happened to me that made me vanish from Pooh's heart. Mm. Merlin, I don't ever want to lose my friends. Hmm. Well, now. Huh? There's no need to fret, lad. Whatever's lost can be found again. There are always new paths between hearts for us to discover and traverse. But you already know that. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we could go back if we need to. Huh, it's, and even that, even though it was like a short, uh, short and sweet diversion, it, it's still adding towards the main story. Like something with something about Sora's connection to people and like something's happened in, yeah, it's just, it's all still building up to something. What? I don't know, but we'll find out in the next video, guys. So until then, take care.